mathematical expectation of a continuous random variable. So we have already seen the mathematical expectation for a discrete random variable in which, say, in which we said ex is equal to x fx, right? Where x is a random variable and fx is its probability distribution or probability density. Well, for a continuous random variable, it is also same. But the only thing is that you're just going to integrate it, right? So please write if x is a continuous random variable. And fx is the value of its probability density at x. At x, right, the expected value of x. The expected value of x is e x is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x f x dx. So of course we are assuming that uh, this sum of the integral uh, this is existing. Huh? So let's take up an example. Let's take up an example. And uh, you're defining the random variable x to denote the, the time the person uh, who is waiting for an elevator to arrive, right? So uh, please write an example. The continuous random variable x To denote the time a person waits for an elevator to arrive. And the uh, probability density function of x is given by this guy. fx is x or zero is less than equal to x is less than equal to one. Two minus x for one is less, sorry, one is strictly less than x, less than equal to two, and zero otherwise. Right. So you need to find out the expected value of x. You need to find out the expected value of x. So you can use this definition out here. Uh, you can use this definition out here. So once you use that, So from zero to one, this is there. So x, f, x, you write x and then you write f, x. Here, f, x is also x, dx, right? Then from one to two, x, f, x, you write x and then you write f, x. f, x is two minus x.
fx is 2 minus x, right? So, so you can write this as x squared dx, 2x minus x squared dx, and you just have to integrate it. So once you integrate it, this will become x cubed by three, and you have the limits zero to one plus two x squared by two limits one to two minus x cubed by three limits one to two, <clears throat> right? So you just put this thing. So it is one by three plus this two, two will get canceled out. Uh, it is two square minus one square. Hmm? Minus what? Your two cube by three, that is eight by three minus one by three, no? Eight by three minus one by three. Uh -huh. So you have what? One by three plus four minus, and there's no square out here. There's no square out here. So it is one square. So four minus one. That is three. And this is, uh, yeah, I think I've done this right. Da, 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 excuse me, three ticket. So it is two cubed by three. And this is <clears throat> minus seven by three, right? So minus seven by three. So it is one plus nine minus seven by three. So this thing comes out to be one, three by three, which is equal to one. So if you just want to <clears throat> draw this, function. So you guys have uh, this guy. So you have x out here, you have fx out here. Uh, so from 0 to 1, it is 0. Here you have 1. And here you have 2. Right? So from 0 to 1, and this is 1, this is 2. It is 0, 1, 2, 1, 2. Right. So this is what fx is equal to x or y is equal to x. Uh, so from 0 to 1, this is going to be the point like this. Hmm? And then from 1 to 2. <clears throat> so when x is equal to 1, hmm, y is equal to 2 minus 1. So so you have y is equal to 2 minus x. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 0. Like this. So it is going to be like this. Right? <clears throat> so this is the value of the function. And this thing, this one out here, this is what the expected value of the function here. Yeah. This is what the expected value of the function. Well, sometimes you we are not interested only in the expected value of the random variable. Hmm. We might also be interested in the expected values of the random variables related to x. So please write this. Sometimes 
<clears throat> we are not only interested in the expected value. of a random variable x <clears throat> but also in the expected values of random variables related to x. Random variables related to x, right? So sometimes, uh, uh, so they might be the another variable y, which is related to x by this function y is equal to x square or something so and we are interested in the rent in the expected values of the random variables related to x right so having said that if x is a random variable is a continuous random variable and uh, the relationship between the x and uh, the another variable y is given by let's say gx so the expected value of gx would be given by gx into fx. fx is the probability density of x. So let me just write that. If x is a continuous random variable, and fx is the value of its probability density at x. the expected value of gx is given by. So earlier we wrote the expected values as, as what? ex as integral x fx. So in place of x now we will be writing gx. That is there. So the expected value of this function gx is integral minus infinity to infinity. Earlier we wrote x fx, x into fx. But now in place of x, we are writing gx. That is the only difference. That is the only difference. Huh? So, supposedly, if, uh, and this is also true in case if we have the discrete random variable, in case of a discrete random variable, I think we have already done that, but I'm just putting this there. Discrete. Random variable. So in that case, the GX is nothing but just the summation of GX FX over X. So the point was that uh, uh, 
In case of discrete random variable, we used to write summation of x f x. Here we are writing summation of g x f x. That is the only thing. Okay. So supposedly we have uh, this expression, <clears throat> this example. It says this. If x has the probability density f x equals to e to the power x. or x greater than zero and zero otherwise, right? Find the expected value of g of this guy, which is e to the power 3x by 4, e to the power 3x by 4. Uh -huh. hmm. Right. I think it is e to the power minus x in the book. Okay, e to the power minus x. So, when I want to write the expected value, of GX, it would be what expected value of E to the power 3X by 4, that would be integral. Now, since this is defined for 0 uh, to infinity, and any other value that is going to be zero. So we can just write it for zero to in, till infinity. Yeah. GX into FX. No, DX. That means integral zero to infinity. In place of GX, we can write this guy. Mm -hmm. We can write e to the power three x by four minus x. So it is minus x by four dx. You just put, just integrate this and you'll be getting the value four. You'll be getting the value four in this guy, in this case. So what is it that we have learned in this recording? We have learned that how to find out the expectation for the continuous random variable x. And not only that, we can also find out the expectation of, in case of that variable, continuous random variable X is related with some other variable, right? GX. So sometimes we are interested not only in the expected value of the random variable X, but also in the expected values of the random variables related to X. Huh? So this is what we have done. Okay, thank you.